Hey everybody, it's Janelle from Yarn Necklaces and I am here on beautiful Clearwater Beach and selling my seashell crafts and my jewelry. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour and show you what I sell here. So here's my booth. It's um, actually three different tables and I'll start with my seashell crafts. These are my seashell crosses and they have seashells all on the front and this one has just wood on the sides and on the back and this one here is actually crushed shells and sand. You gotta see the texture on there. So you have two different two different styles. And then we have our little flower pots. These are also made of seashells. I take the little seashells and form a little flower out of them. So we have a plain pot here. And then we paint Clearwater Beach. Let me show you this one, you probably see it better. Clearwater Beach, Florida, Pier 60. Because that's where we sell. And these little wooden stands are really cool. I purchased them about a year ago. And they actually come apart. So you can take like this, this, and this apart and then just stack it and then this part folds together. So really good if you don't have a lot of room in your car to be carrying stuff for your display. And I think it looks pretty nice because you can actually see the flowers since it's like kind of like a tiered look. And we have a few different styles of the trios also. So we got the same thing with the plain pots right here. And you'll notice inside the pot, these have like little crushed shells. And then in these, they have actual little mini seashells. And then we have like our clear water ones on the bottom, and then painted ones. These we call multicolor painted. And then these up here are just like solid, right here. So now moving on to the jewelry. These are our layered necklace sets. And I put them on a little card like this. It tells you what the gemstone is and what it represents. This is the piece, lazuli. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's wisdom, vision, and prosperity. And it's kind of hard to see the way the sun's looking, but it's a little better. It's kind of like a dark blue. So we've got three ne necklaces. This one's like about 22 inches, this one's 18, and this one's about 15. And you wear them as a set like this. And then, oh, I almost forgot these pots here. These are, are what I call sea gardens. And they actually have a starfish along with three flowers and another three big shells and then six small shells around. So it's kind of like a little bouquet of flowers. And I have another display here. This is also the layered necklaces. We just put these on a stick. So if you look back here, we have it clamped to the table there. It's kind of just like an L shape. And we actually made these for our displays. So it's just like a big long stick and then drilled holes in the sides. And then put a little dowel rod through it and I just clip these on with those little office clips. And there's my display. And then it doesn't blow away like when it gets windy out here. Like it was a couple days ago, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> then we also have seashell lockets right here. These are all tiny little real seashells, a starfish, a sand dollar, and this one has like little blue crystals in it. These are wraparound bracelets. They're stainless steel, they have little tube beads, and this is all one bracelet. So you just put this part on your wrist and then wrap it around. I don't have an extra hand to put it on, but I think you get the idea. These here also have the two beads, but they have a little bead on the back. You can pull that out and make it adjustable and then push it back to whatever size you need it. And 
over here I have a bunch of different styles of rings. These rings, I do have a tutorial on how to do this, but I think when I did the tutorial, I did like beads all the way around. So I started doing just one bead in the center. I think that looks nice. So these are like burst stone ones. And they're just swarfy crystals. They're not the actual burst stone. Burst stone. And then these right here are like gemstone crystals and I have them all labeled here same style these are my little rose rings and I did a few of these like crazy loopy rings um, I haven't made any recently I sold a few of them and then those back there are also adjustable and my bracelets are made the same way and they are made with aluminum so it's real flexible Pull it out and push it back in. Hard to do with one hand, but it works. And then these bracelets here are all like themed or they have a little saying on them. I started doing that. You can see some of the sayings. And then they each have, if they have a saying, it's four charms. If they have, um, just like a like travel or tropical, just a theme. Then it's five charms. And then over here I have little message bracelets. I'm sorry, necklaces. <laughs> they are necklaces, not bracelets. So they have a little charm, a saying on them, and a little crystal and a whole bunch of different messages. These are my character keychains or zipper poles. Lots of different ones. Of course, Harry Potter at the bottom. Lots of Disney characters and different things. And these are my resin seashell keychains. All have Clearwater Beach, Florida on them. And I put, a lot of times I'll put like a little charm in there. This is a shark. Seahorse. And this necklace here is one I recently kind of came up with the idea. It's just like a little wire wrap with some beads. Kind of just like a little curved bar necklace. And it's pretty short. It's, you know, like a little bit longer than a choker. So it looks cute though. And I had made a colorful one over here. And then this one is kind of like my wire wrap one where I kind of just went crazy doing some little loops. And then over here we have some message bracelets. Lots of different sayings. I have some Christian ones and then like inspirational ones. One for your best friend. Things for like your kids, like you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Beach ones, toes in the sand, wine in my hand. These here are some of my crocheted jewelry. I have bracelets. These are crocheted ladder yarn bracelets with a little charm on them. And I have sizes, small, medium, large. And I have a little stand here with a hand. Oops, this one. And it seems to be getting a little windy. Yeah, this one has a little turtle on it. This one blew up. And these are my wraparound bracelets. They just wrap around your wrist three times and all different sayings. And also have a little charm on them. This one has a little wine charm, flip flop, dolphin, and a little hand display so you can see what it looks like on your wrist. And an anklet here. Same thing with my crocheted bladder yarn. The heart, medium and large. And then I have a little bin of scrunchies. Ladder yarn crocheted scrunchies. These are some like Disney charm necklaces. So I use those same charms I use with the keychain as necklaces. And more in this little bin here. These are my necklace and earring sets. These are wire wrapped. 
aluminum wire. And I do different stones, lotus jasper, and blue poway, different things. And then I have the earrings. And then I do some like loopy wire earrings up here. Oops, these are twisted. There we go. And some beaded loopy earrings. And then these are probably hard to see, but we got some abalone with a little charm in the middle. Some, um, what is this one? Pink shell. And like white mother of pearl. And different things. And a lot of my displays, like this one here, um, this one has a little peg underneath. I don't know if you see it right here. Um, I got that on Amazon. Most of my displays I did get on Amazon. I think these, I may have gotten those from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if they still have them. But we actually painted them black. That's why they're black. They were actually just like a wood color like this. So, um, yeah. And I think I got the foot and the hands also from Amazon. And if I can find a link, I'll put a link below. Same with this stand too. Um, not sure where we got these. I think we may have gotten those on a different site. But also the, the ring stands too. We got those on Amazon. And this one here. This one I made. I used um, some plastic I got from the Dollar Tree. Kind of like, um, it was a cutting board plastic and I just cut it and taped it on both sides to make these little sections so my bracelets will stand up. This display, I'm pretty sure we got on Amazon also. And I don't think I showed you guys these. These are my Zodiac necklaces. They have a Zodiac sign with a star and a birthstone. And I let people know what Zodiac it is, what month it's for, and what that Zodiac, um, like their traits are. And then I also have bracelets the same way. And pretty soon the sun will be setting behind me. Probably can't tell because my phone is not cooperating. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know if you have any questions about the display or um, anything like that. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.